Good day everyone, Froggy Picker here. Uh, in this video, I will discuss about or show you how to reassemble a double sided Euro cylinder. And this is a topic that I've not seen discussed before, and I really had to scratch my head on to figure out how to do it. So I've done it once before, but let's see if I can do it again. Um, I may have to uh, speed up the, the, the boring part. Um, so, the main problem that you have is that you need to uh, assemble the cylinder in such a way that you have both uh, driver uh, stacks, um, so driver and pin and sorry and spring in the cylinder, um, but without a follower. So because you need to insert the plug in there. So in this case, on one side, what I'm going to use is this follower that has a groove. So you could just use a half an inch dowel or something and then like put a groove in there. And I'm going to use it for um, just like a, a regular driver. And then once this is done, uh, I can, I will be able to use a pinning shoe. So. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's put your the first um, five pins and drivers. So uh, I would have to, I will speed up that face. Okay, so this is the last driver on that side. These multi-lock uh, springs are super strong. It's like they're really annoying to, to deal with. So this is the one side. Now for the other side, so let me just like put it. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use this um, spacer uh, to put um, to use as a driver. So I'm going to insert the spacer. And uh, let me think about it. Yeah, I don't need, okay. And so same thing. So I'm going to use, oh, let me use uh, my vice here. Okay, and then repetitor, bis repetitor with the drivers and some okay so this is the last driver for that side so let's Try to see if I can move. Yep, a little bit. Uh, here we are. Okay. Huh. Okay, so that was a little bit uh, pain in the neck. So from there, what we have is. Uh, just to show you, I have one uh, follower with uh, the groove for the shoe on one side, and then I have this interposer that also has a groove that I can use for the shoe. So what that means now is I can start assembling uh, the plug. So. First of all, uh, you have to be careful to use the right uh, plug. Okay. So the first um, first plug that I'm going to put is on this side, and you can see here the the C clip is too short. So. This is actually for this side here. 
yeah, the C clip is just right there. And if you try the other one, the other plug, you can see that the C clip are, is aligning with uh, with the groove here. So this one is for the left, and so I'm, I have to use this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the shoe, the pinning shoe, to here. And center everything, perfect. So now, if I'm careful, I will be able to remove that driver and then put the plug in its place sorry the follower and put the, this plug in this place perfect here we are so that's the first side now for the second side i will I need so let me just double check yeah so I need uh, I need the pinning shoe so let me remove the shoe from that side and I will be doing so um, oh no actually I don't need it I don't think I actually need it so in this case I can just it here uh, yeah I think that should be okay so let me rotate the plug and now I can insert it yep oh I actually forgot something I knew was something okay so I need to can I get it out without disaster crap I forgot to add these two pieces here so I don't think can I actually get them oh actually haha I can get them through the other side. So this is actually pretty lucky. Let me just do it this way. So I need to put them in this spacer. So, okay, so disaster avoided, more or less. Okay. So everything is inside. The only thing before I can close everything, I need to put the cam back. And so this one is a little bit tricky because you have to, these two wings here have to enter inside both sides actually. So let me try to do that. So I need to put the cam and the center piece. And then I need to Okay, so this one is good. Now I need to do the other one. Here we are. So, yep. Oh, not yet because. So it is a line, so I just need to push it out. Okay, remove the key. And now I should be able to push 
on that side. Ah, here it is. Okay, so I just had to rotate the key in the right uh, position. Okay, <clears throat> so now uh, the only thing that is missing, um, and I will have to, yeah, is this C clip. Here it is, and uh, this is how or one way to reassemble a um, double sided Euro cylinder. And you know, everything works. Yeah, took yeah, 20, 20 minutes, but it's done. Not a beautiful job, but no, no disaster. Anyway, um, that's all for today. Remember the rule, only try this at home and leave any feral locks to professional. Thank you.